this is Miss Andrea. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to shop for groceries. Um, I promised product reviews on Mondays, but the curriculum I'm working on right now is going to take a little bit longer. Um, and you'll see what it is a little bit further in this video. So let's shop. So I buy all my groceries online. And honestly, I'm borderline prepper. But what's going on right here is I already ordered the groceries yesterday and scheduled them for today. And I'm looking at what's being shopped so far and I'm seeing that he switched out my soy sauce. I ordered three soy sauces and they were a dollar and change each and he switched it for one soy sauce. That was that same price. So my question is, hey, what's up with the soy sauce? Um, you know, and what's the price per ounce? And he informed me that it was um, a higher price. So I was like, you know what? Just get me one and I'll stock up elsewhere. Because what I was doing was stocking up. I've kind of fallen down this rabbit trail of being a low-key prepper because I, I'm very cognizant of when prices change and prices have been changing and things have been going out of stock very quickly. So my pantry is completely redesigned. It's full of things. We have extra shelves downstairs and still somehow we ran out of soy sauce. And this is how this grocery list evolved. So he, he only got the one soy sauce and then I clicked on it and approved it. Now I've found that you have to stay on top of them when you are shopping online. Um, if you just set the list and then don't think about it again until they drop it at your door, you're going to get a lot, a lot of wrong stuff. Like it's going to be bad. It's going to be wrong. They, they don't care if you're shopping for sales, they'll get you the most expensive item. Even if you pick the items and then go in and say, these are my acceptable replacements, they'll still grab any old replacement off the shelf. So if I know I have a grocery, um, um, shopping cart in progress, I stay on it. You know, I look for the pop-ups on my phone or I just get on my computer and I watch it as it happens. So at this point, um, he's still shopping for three items that are my favorite items. And he's found pretty much everything else I needed. We did have that soy sauce issue. So when he told me that they were out of all the other soy sauces, um, you'll see in a second what I did. Um, because of a short attention span, I can't just stare at one screen. I went and checked out, um, to verify if soy sauce had indeed shot up in price, you know, and gone out of stock or not. Um, oh, but I told you I was going to tell you what curriculum I was reviewing next. And this is it. It's hippocampus.org. It is the curriculum that I used while my kids were in high school and it was very um, college prep focused. The problem is it changed a lot over the years, but it looks like it's changing again. And so I'm going to check it out and review it for you. So I'm clicking back and forth between um, what I'm working on and how the shopping is going. And I just approved his French fry swap out. He went from regular French fries to steak French fries because they were out of regular French fries. So back to why I do this. I got a list of a three to six month stock up um, two weeks ago when I purchased everything on it. Still somehow condiments weren't on that list. Spices weren't on that list. And so I've been stocking up on those things plus my regular items that I normally buy as those run out, I buy them again. But mostly every week, I'm just mostly buying dairy and produce. And if things do get super weird, you know, then I just won't have dairy or produce. So here I've popped back over to hippocampus.org um, because um, I'm trying to assess where it's changed from when I was very familiar with it to where it is now. Um, but you will get a lot more information on that later. Okay. So basically I'm just refreshing the screen to make sure he's gotten everything. 
And then I said, well, while I'm at it, let me go ahead and see if I can't get soy sauce on sale somewhere. So I went in the, over to Amazon and confirmed that the prices are indeed out of control, out of control. So um, I searched through it and then I searched again, um, ranking them by price before I finally um, decided to go for a larger amount, a larger ounce amount, you know, just to, you know, buy it in bulk and get a better price that way because soy sauce costs a lot. And maybe it's because it comes out of China and we've got tariffs and we're not playing well with others right now. So I did that and I chose my soy sauce through Amazon Fresh. And I said, well, since I'm at Amazon Fresh, <laughs> I might as well um, get a few more things that I didn't think about the fact that I was going to be out of town this week. And I have two 20-something-year-olds in the house. And when we're out of town, they get real salty and they use the credit cards we gave them to order fast food. So I'm going to order things they like and tell them to take it easy on the credit cards just because we didn't take them on vacation. They're grown. They don't need to go on vacation with us. Anyway, so popping back over to Instacart and just refreshing the screen to see where we are, to see what's shopped and what's not shopped. So if they make any more changes, I can question them or approve them. Um, back over the Hippo campus. Can't wait to tell you about that later. I have a really short attention span, guys. Like, super short. I think that's why I'm so good at teaching um, kids with short attention spans because I know all the tools and tricks. So I I did um, choose um, my favorite organic brand, uh, soy sauce. And then I went looking to see what else was available on uh, Amazon Fresh since I got something from Amazon Fresh. And so I'm getting the kids' favorite frozen foods because they're lazy. They're not going to actually cook anything from the raw, from the raw state. Um, and oh my gosh, guys, um, all the frozen chicken is out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. This is why I've been prepping because everything we normally buy is out of stock. I did an Amazon pantry yesterday also, and that's going to come on Wednesday. And, um, you know, there's a thing we can click to shop for what you normally buy. And when I clicked it, two thirds of what I normally buy is out of stock. So if you haven't stocked up on your groceries yet, I strongly advise you to get the to Costco and, and get what you need. So here I am just buying my kids' favorite things that I know will um, keep them from wanting to spend their, their money and, or especially my money, um, on fast food while I am out of town. You know, I just try to save everybody money whenever I can. So I got my daughter's, um, dumplings. I got frozen pizza. I got frozen chicken wings, but most of the stuff I wanted to get was incredibly like not available which is crazy like none of these frozen foods are things they would normally eat and the stuff they would normally eat which is the stuff that everybody likes was completely and utterly out of stock did i just make a slurping noise i'm drinking mint tea no <laughs> sorry um So just spending time waiting for my Instacart to be done um, shopping on Amazon Fresh. And I do things like I'll do a search and then I'll um, sort it by lowest price or, you know, I'll just think of something and I'll type it in. It's kind of random, but before I'm done shopping, I always go to the top and click on sale items because I always try to get sale items first. And honestly, I'm just trying to get this cart to the minimum for free 
um, shipping. And so what I found was drumsticks were a dollar fifty for a pack of drumsticks. And so I just clicked it and I clicked it again and I clicked it again and I clicked it again because it let me. It said there was going to be a minimum, but it let me keep clicking it. So I'm going to say, okay, let's see how many packs of this chicken at this amazing price I can get. And so right now there are four in my cart, but as you will soon see, my um, bubble is about to be burst. I considered getting hot dog buns. I put some in and then I took them back out because I'm not going to get eight hot dog buns when I know there's only like five or six hot dogs in the fridge. Look, we'll get, we can figure that out. I'm not wasting hot dog buns. So back to Kroger. Where are we? He is done and he got everything else. No more switcheroos. So that's brilliant. Um, and so I'm back over to Amazon, but in the meanwhile, um, something I've learned, he shopped my list pretty slowly. That means he wasn't just shopping for me. So I, when I saw him come to the door, I had my phone out and I checked each item to make sure I was getting all of my items, none of no one else's. And so I did that with him. And then we even talked about it. He's like, yeah, a lot of shoppers do that. So what happened now, you may have noticed my, when I went to check out on Amazon, um, I added, I added bananas. It said, um, cause it makes some suggestions. Like you normally get bananas and I was like, oh yeah. So it, it said, Hey, you can only have one chicken. And I was like, see, why do you let me even choose it? So, but then it wouldn't adjust it in the cart. I had to go back in and adjust it back down to one. And then to get back to my minimum amount, I just um, ended up adding more pizzas. Now, I'm supposed to be getting free shipping, but um, there's no free shipping available. Even all the way up to Wednesday, was just the day before I'm going out of town. So I got distracted for a minute and went back over to the other sites. But when I clicked back, um, I did have free shipping for a two hour window for later today. So that is what I chose. So yay on that. And maybe it didn't have the two hour shipping for me earlier because I hadn't reached the um, minimum because it had taken my chicken off. So when I went through and um, manually removed the chicken down to one package and then added the pizza, then the order must have been good. And then when I went to check out, which you won't see that because I got distracted and didn't finish till later. It was at two hours. So now I'm refreshing to see if it's going to tell me he's on his way. And that never happened. Um, but eventually he got here and I checked and we had a good conversation. I asked him why he wasn't wearing a mask. And he promised me he had one in the car. And um, so that's it. And that's the final product. It wasn't a lot of items. But gosh, it's it's almost like going to the store, your daggone self, um, because you have to mind it so closely. Um, but I got some good prices, and this is all I shop now, like once or twice a week. I hit two stores for about $35 each because I'm fully prepped. If you want to see how I'm prepped, if you want to see my pantries, give a thumbs up and leave a comment, and I will make that video for you. So. Until next time.